linoleic acid. Uh, you, we can, our bodies can make them out of flax oil and hemp oil. If you take it as fish oil, you don't have to do uh, the conversion. Next slide, please. Uh, so the fish oil, you can take as cod liver oil, but it tastes really bad. Most people take it as capsules. I would uh, try and look for molecularly distilled so it's pure. Uh, krill oil is made from the little tiny crustaceans that the uh, salmon eat, and they are uh, there's less concerned about contaminants. It's a little more readily absorbed as well. Next, please. So neurotransmitters, I talked a little bit about GABA. If your GABA is low, you're gonna have more problems with pain, more problems with irritability. Uh, and it's quite low in people with MS, it's quite low with people with obsessive compulsive disorder, uh, mental health issues, probably also low uh, with Parkinson's uh, and dementia as well. Uh, you'll see it uh, to be low in people with chronic headache uh, and tension headache, migraine headaches. Many of the prescriptions that we use to increase GABA levels, things like gabapentin, Lyrica, are very good at controlling neuropathic pain and are uh, good at mood stabilizers. These are the things that we use for people who have diabetic neuropathy. Well, the good news is you can also make it easier to make GABA by eating more sulfur. And I will tell you, if you, I beat you with my drugs to get your brain cells to make more GABA, if you have not eaten more organic sulfur, I don't care how much I beat you with my drugs, you can't make stuff you don't have building blocks for. So we got to start talking about the food. That means you need the greens. OK, next slide. Do, wait, do, these, do these count as greens too? No, not yet. Okay. That, that's my iodine. We're coming to that. OK, so GABA requires sulfur. We've already sent the green leaves around. Uh, everything in the cabbage family, so here we go. <laughs> Here, this is our uh, kohlrabi, uh, but things like uh, radishes, uh, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, turnips, uh, all of those are wonderful sources of sulfur. Then you can add in onions family, so that's onion, chives, leeks. Garlic is just incredibly good for you. Lots and lots of garlic. Kohlrabi. And it, with a K. And by the way, if, if you get it, the, the leaves are on, the leaves are fine to eat too. You can cut them up and put them in your salad. And I mentioned earlier uh, the mushrooms that went around. Mushrooms are a great source of organic sulfur. Uh, and you just want to be sure that you're getting uh, more of the non-poisonous kinds. But it doesn't have to be just the shiitake. The white button mushrooms are great for you. I, I would just go ahead and have a variety of mushrooms. And I encourage mushrooms every day or nutritional yeast every day because they are so good for you. Next, minerals. OK. Now we're going to talk a little bit. Minerals, most of us, our dietary intake of minerals are declining steadily. Particularly if you're using traditional farming, the minerals are not replenished in the soils. So the foodstuffs become progressively more and more mineral deficient. Organic farming will have 10 to 90% more uh, nutritional content than traditional farming. Furthermore, uh, iodine uh, is rapidly depleted out of soils. And here in North America, the iodine contents of our soils are continuing to decline. We're eating fewer vegetables. We fluoridated our water, and so our iodine intake uh, is declining. And it's estimated that the majority of Americans ha do not meet their daily iodine intake. Furthermore, our, in our effort to help people's blood pressure, we've told them to quit using salt, and they did, which further decreases their iodine intake. Iodine is a critical brain nutrient. If you don't have enough iodine, you have profound mental retardation, and iodine is a critical part of making myelin. So we have several things here for you to point out. Iodized sea salt. Sea salt will have more of the trace minerals that we need. And, uh, or you can get uh, plain sea salt. Uh, and you want to use seaweeds as much as you can. 
Uh, we have a couple examples here, dulse, nori, kelp is another. There are some powdered kelp granules, which is a kind of uh, salt seasoning, which will have iodine plus many of the other uh, 50 trace nutrients and minerals that we need. Uh, magnesium, uh, when you're under stress, uh, you tend to lose magnesium. And because we eat so few greens, most Americans are relatively magnesium deficient. So eating more greens will help that out as well. Certainly eating more seaweed uh, will be very helpful as well. How do I incorporate this in my diet? Uh, I would chop it up and throw it in your soups. Is the easiest thing to do. Or you can you know, soak it, slice it, reconstitute it and make seaweed salads. Just uh, throw some of that in with your ordinary salad. I can throw it in with any of the casseroles. Okay, uh, nutritional yeast is a great source of minerals. Uh, will not have a lot of uh, iodine though. So you're gonna have to be very intentional about getting iodine, either through iodized sea salt uh, or at some of these powdered kelp granules, which is a nice way of getting uh, iodine without the sodium if you're needing to watch your sodium because of your blood pressure. Next. Okay, sulfur amino acids. Uh, I do put these up there. If you're taking amino acid supplements, these are the ones uh, that you'll probably see referenced, which is MS, uh, MSM, which is, oh, thank you, methyl sulfonylmethane, and acetylcysteine, taurine, uh, lipoic acid, now, people ask me, well, could I just take those as supplements? Uh, you could, but they'll be made in China. And I don't know, do any of you remember the melanin milk powder problem? Would, would, how do you feel about taking things made in China? I mean, should you be concerned? The, the other uh, observation I have is, if you eat the food, in addition to getting all the sulfur and all the B vitamins, there are probably another thousand or so other phytonutrients in this kale and collards that we've yet to name that are probably really, really good for me. So eat the food. If you take supplements, consult with your physician. You need to probably have uh, a blood count, a liver test, and a kidney test every year because of the possibility of contamination much better to just eat lots and lots of greens. Next, please. Okay, so if you have high glutamate, that will decrease your GABA and increase your pain. Uh, glutamate becomes toxic to brain cells if, if it's at too high a level. And there are a couple of things in our diet that typically will increase glutamate. NutraSweet being one of them. It doesn't happen to everyone, but you'll see that there are some people who report uh, problems with uh, headache, nausea, feeling jittery after having aspartame. And there are certainly several reports of people with MS-like illnesses that completely abate after stopping the uh, aspartame. MSG, similarly, which is a wonderful seasoning, uh, very popular in uh, oriental cooking. Uh, it tastes very good, and, and it does, but it too will increase the glutamate and can become uh, brain toxic. So I, my advice is, uh, don't use NutraSweet or any of the Spartan pro uh, products and to be very careful about not having MSG, which means asking uh, when you go out to eat, is there any MSG in the food? And reading all the labels carefully, if it says other seasonings in the list of ingredients, assume it's MSG. Next, please. Uh, other neurotransmitters, we have serotonin, uh, which is often low in depression. There are some things you can do to help that out. Uh, vitamin D. Uh, most Americans are now vitamin D deficient. We listened to our dermatology colleagues who said sun will cause skin cancer, cover up, put on sunscreen. Uh, we do that and so we have made our children D deficient. Actually probably uh, PlayStation did that. But uh, so our children are sun deficient, are sun deficient and vitamin D deficient. The uh, elders are all D deficient. Uh, the physicians are all D deficient and probably the rest of you are too. Uh, my advice, if you have pain or mental health issue or a neurological issue or a autoimmune issue or high blood pressure or diabetes or heart disease, I'd get a vitamin D level. And for the rest of you, you ought to get one anyway. 
Uh, and then I would uh, increase uh, your vitamin D. At the very least, I would take 2,000 units a day during the uh, winter and get and maintain a tan. Don't burn, just maintain a tan during the summer.